Tamil Nadu Transport and Communications. The warm welcome once again, my dear children, for the introduction of a new topic, Transport of Tamil Nadu. Transport and communication play a vital role in the economic progress of any place. Tamil Nadu is well connected by transport and in this unit we will be analyzing the different way, different means of communication, the different types of transport which can felicitate for the overall economic progress. My dear children, let's first take the transport. Transport is divided into four kinds, roadways, railways, waterways and airways. Do not explain to you elaborately the importance, the significance, the relevance of a transport in everyday life. We will straight away go to the roadways. Tamil Nadu has got a well connected transport service. You have a 24 hour bus service to almost all the dist district quarters, headquarters of the state. My dear children, roadways are classified into national roadways, state roadways, district roadways and village roads. Tamil Nadu has got 20 national highways and it, the length and breadth of the roadways in Tamil Nadu are well maintained, taken care of by the highways department and the national highways department, district administration and the village panchayats. Let's move to the railways. Railways are of four kinds. It has got the meter gauge train, broad gauge train and narrow gauge train. Finally, suburban. Tamil Nadu has got, unfortunately, not all the districts have got the rail connection. The railroads are not well connected to the southern, few southern districts of Tamil Nadu. But by and large, all the headquarters are connected. But when we compare with the other states, Tamil Nadu's railway department, railway network is very much lacking. Let's move on to the waterways. Waterways are of two kinds, inland waterways and seawater. The major seaports in Tamil Nadu, Tutukudi, Chennai and Yennur. Ships are handled, cargoes are loaded and export and import is being done in the harbour. Waterways, inland waterways. This inland waterways helps us taking people from one area to the other area across the river. Children, the last one is airways. The fastest and the costliest means of uh, transport is airways. It takes you and within an hour to another district. It takes you within an hour to another state. But as I told you, it's the costliest. The airports are divided into international airports and domestic airports. Chennai is the third largest airport in India after Delhi and Mumbai. Transport and communications play a vital role in the economic development of Tamil Nadu. Transport system helps with the easy movement of human beings and materials. It acts as the arteries and veins of national development. The transport system is of four types such as roadways, railways, waterways and airways. Roadways Of all the states of India, Tamil Nadu has a sound network of roads. All economic sectors of the state is interconnected and interlinked by roadways. The state transport corporations operate the public transport system, 
along with private transport organizations. Compared to other states of India, Tamil Nadu state transport corporations operate bus services in a full-fledged facilitating manner. Roadways may be classified into four types. National highways, state highways, district roads and village roads. There are 24 national highways covering a total distance of 4,500 kilometers. The state is also a terminus for the Golden Quadrilateral Project. To meet the ever-increasing demand from public, there are seven transport corporations functioning in the state. They are given here with their area of operation. Metropolitan Transport Corporation, Chennai and Suburban Areas, with Chennai as headquarters. Tamil Nadu State Transport Corporation, Villipuram, Kadalor, Vellor, Tiruvannamalai, Kanchipuram and Tiruvallur districts with Villipuram as its headquarters. Tamil Nadu State Transport Corporation, Kumbakonam, Tanjavur, Tiruvarur, Nagapatnam, Karekal, Tirchirapalli, Karur, Perambalur, Sivagangai, Ramnad and Pudukottai districts with Kumbakonam as headquarters. Tamil Nadu State Transport Corporation, Salem. Salem, Dharmapuri, Namakal and Krishnagiri districts with Salem as headquarters. Tamil Nadu State Transport Corporation, Coimbatore. Coimbatore, Tirupur, Erode and the Nilgiris districts with Coimbatore as headquarters. Tamil Nadu State Transport Corporation, Madurai, Madurai, Virudhanagar, Dindukal and Thani districts with Madurai as headquarters. Tamil Nadu State Transport Corporation, Tirunelveli, Tirunelveli, Tutukudi, Kanyakumari districts with Tirunelveli as headquarters. Apart from these, the state has vehicular transport in the form of two- and three-wheeler vehicles which constitute about 83.9%. The number of registered vehicle population in Tamil Nadu had increased to 10.064 million in 2007-2008. There are 64 vehicular zones in the state. Among the regional transport offices, Chennai is the largest one which has 61 centres. Recent Developments in Road Transport Conversion of single lane of state highways into double lane and multi-lane. The widening and improvement of road from Madhya Kailash in Adyar to Siruseri on Old Mahabalipuram Road for about 2 kilometers was laid. This is referred to as the IT Expressway that serves as connectivity to all IT companies. The East Coast Road ECR that is built along the coast of the Bay of Bengal connects Chennai and Kadalur via Pondicherry. It gives rise to spectacular scenic views with beaches and fishermen hamlets. Presently, the East Coast Road has been extended to Tutukudi via Chidambaram, Nagapatnam and Ramanathapuram. The Golden Quadrilateral Project of the National Highways Development that runs for about 1,232 kilometers in Tamil Nadu has been completed. Most of the Mofasal traffic has been diverted onto bypass roads to avoid traffic congestion. CMBT, Chennai Mofasal Bus Terminus, 
which is the largest modern bus terminus in Asia, Coimbedu, Chennai has been established. Bridges and flyovers have been constructed in many districts of Tamil Nadu along the national highways. Some of the notable ones may be found in the Chennai city. Chennai Airport Flyover, Perambur Flyover, Anna Flyover and Kathipara Junction Flyover and in Vellor, Dindivanam and Ulundurpet to ease vehicular traffic congestion. Ring roads that encircle urban areas to divert vehicular traffic to avoid traffic passing through the centre have been implemented. SETC operates vivid type of buses namely semi-deluxe, super-deluxe, video coach, ultra-deluxe, Volvo and air suspension buses within Tamil Nadu and adjacent states.